Hi Virgo, I hope you're all doing well. We're going to get into your general reading and see what Spirit wants to talk to you about today. I've been using Kim Cran's Alchemy deck to pull out two cards that represent these forces in the universe that are coming together for you to manifest something. So the forces coming together for you that I got are Sulfur and Chaos. This looks pretty big. This looks intense. This looks a little bit uncomfortable as well, but Spirit spit out the outcome. Usually I pull it out at the very end of the reading after the tarot and all that, but nope, Spirit wanted me to show you right away. I feel like because maybe you need to be reassured a little bit, but the outcome is beautiful, and I'll talk about that in a second. But these forces here speak about, you know, something really sucking right now, <laughs> not going so well, or I'm hearing, well, there's something that maybe doesn't, something smells off, there's a smell that is off. Okay, it's like you were, you were on the path, you've lost the scent of something. Interesting, I don't know what that is. But yeah, smell seems to be, well, sulfur smells, but it seems to be like there's something really important about the metaphor of smell, okay, and scent and that changing. And maybe there's something to do with pheromones. But anyways, let's get back to it. Maybe pay attention to what you smell, okay? You can, smell can be an intuition. <laughs> so there's something here that stinks that is not really working out but this card also talks about how that thing that is sucking can be a blessing in disguise but you just can't see the upshot of it yet you're still in the thick of things and then chaos well this is also a challenging energy because in the energy of chaos, we can feel dazed and confused. We can feel like our world has been turned upside down or, hey, I thought something was going to go really well. And now everything is just a mess. Like, this isn't good. This isn't what I wanted. How could I have, you know, gotten myself to this point? Like, what the heck is going on? That's the kind of energy that's here. Now, maybe you've already moved through this and you're on a different point in the timeline. And that's cool. Okay. Okay. But for those this is resonating with, I want to tell you that what's going to manifest out of this chaotic energy of feeling like things suck <laughs> is conjunction and rotation. And these are beautiful cards. This card, rotation, speaks of the wheel of life turning in your favor, that cycles are turning. And the cycle is turning, changing into union. A divine union could be with someone else or it could be an aspect with yourself. It could be a creation. But the next chapter of your life, there's like a beautiful union. There's a lot of love here coming in for you. And this wheel is turning not just out of nowhere, not just because. The reason why the wheel is turning in your favor is because you've worked so hard to weave this web of your life over time, all the experiences that you've had, all the ways that you've managed to work through situations, what you've done with the difficult energies that were thrown your way, you've transmuted them into something that is quite intricate and beautiful, this, this web. So what happens next, what manifests this divine union that exists in the energy of love is the cumulative effect of your efforts. Maybe over the last 10 years, it feels like a long time this has been building up and it's about to crystallize here into this beautiful path in which you're able to work with chaos and form. Chaos energy is feminine in nature, but it's formless energy, right? That's why it feels so disorienting because we feel all this energy whirling around us, spinning around us, within us, okay? Things are going all over the place. Nothing has really been brought into form yet. But that formlessness, formlessness of chaos is potential. You can turn it into anything you want. It hasn't been calcified or turned rigid into like, this is the way it's going to be. Okay, so what, what I'm trying to say is that when you're in a chaotic situation, you have the ability to turn it around, to do something with it, 
to bring it into the form that you want rather than like it's better to be in that state than in some kind of rigid state where these are the rules this is how it is there's no way in there's no way out that's it that's not what's going on for you right now there's lots of potential and possibility for things to turn into blessings which they are okay virgo so let's get in deeper and see what's going on for you this is a timeless reading so whenever you come across it it could be for you i don't know if i said that already this could be coming up for you if you're not already feeling this energy okay let's see what's going on here for virgo See, it's like even in the chaos, you can kind of see a, a little glimpse of the web, your web. Maybe you need to see a little glimpse of all, all that you've created. Sometimes when things are just like, whoa, WTF, <laughs> it helps to kind of review all of our accomplishments, all the things that we've managed to see ourselves through. Like, holy shit, Virgo, look at all the things that have happened in your life and look how much you were there for yourself and how much you figured it out. You've always figured it out and you're going to figure it out again. And it's easier this time, even if it feels harder, because you don't have to break something down in order to build it back up the way you want. In other words, yeah, so you don't have to break something down in order to build it back up. It's already been broken down for you. Okay. So let's see for Virgo. We need five cards, Spirit. What's going on for Virgos? I'm going to put them face down. We'll go through it together. We'll have our surprise together. And there is a surprise turnaround here. There's no doubt about it. This is definitely a surprise turnaround. Can you tell me more about the chaos? I would like to know, what is the chaos here? Or the, the stinkiness? <laughs> the sticky stinkiness. I was recently, um, I came across some article that said, this is just a random tidbit of information that seems to want to come through. But if you're really attracted to someone's sweat, the smell of their sweat, it means that they're, uh, DNAs or their genetics are very different from yours and that by coming together you would make a strong offspring because you're combining such different forces ah uh, yeah the conjunction right the different forces of dark and light coming together so I feel like whatever you're coming together with you're attracted to this thing but it is very different from who you are or what you are maybe you're creating something and you're like this doesn't seem like a reflection of me, but I really want to do this thing. Or this person's so different from me, but I'm like really attracted. Follow that. Because it, this union is of polarities. Okay? And that's what makes it so powerful. What you create with this person or this job or this place or this whatever it is, it's going to stand the test of time. It's divine. Okay, so let's see. What is the, the problem here? We have the Hermit, the Four of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, and the Nine of Wands. Oof. Something around uh, the holidays could have impacted you quite significantly. I'm seeing Santa, uh, the Hermit card show up as Santa here, your card. Okay. Maybe you feel like people expect too much of you here. I'm hearing naughty or nice. Hmm. Maybe a few people made your shit list this year. <laughs> I forgo. Okay. Four of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Nine of Wands. Well, you feel pretty defeated in some sense. You're holding on to some pain, some betrayal. You're guarding yourself. You're protecting yourself. You don't feel safe in some way. I feel like that's what it is. You're wise. You're smart got things kind of figured out here but there's like a feeling of i don't really feel safe to be 
creative. I don't feel safe to be happy. I don't feel like I'm always looking over my shoulder waiting for the next shoe to drop. Interesting. I'm seeing someone throw salt over their shoulder, which is a superstition. Maybe you're getting superstitious even about things. Huh. This is you trying to find some kind of order in the chaos. But the order that you're finding is like through the lens of pessimism. Some of you really had your world like flipped upside down recently. It's understandable. But let's let's see what else is going to happen here. Some of you have Leo in your chart, um, and that's a good place for you to tap into right now. Why is this all happening for you? Four of Cups. What's going on here, Virgo? I feel like something's just not good enough. It could be you feel like you're not good enough or something around you isn't good enough. This is a card of rejecting something that's being offered to you, not seeing an opportunity. Yeah, it's kind of like you're telling me, Andy, like shit is so bad right now. How could you say this is a blessing in disguise? <laughs> See, the, the cups are just like a little outline here. They're hard to see, but they're there. So you're pretty pessimistic right now. A little bit sulky, a little bit. <laughs> no shame. I mean, I don't know what everyone's been through. Sulk away. But at some point, we got to get back up and channel that inner strength. And say, hey, I'm going to make this work for me. I'm going to make this happen for me. I'm going to see the good in this situation. What I perceive to be good. Because you are not powerless here. No, not by a long shot. Okay? So don't convince yourself that you have no power. Or that you can't bring something into union for yourself and have a new cycle. Of course you can. And you will. I see it. You will. You just got to find your way back to that resolve that you have. Okay, let's see. What impact is all this having on you? Justice. Some of you could be involved in something legal that feels quite chaotic or there's some like terms and conditions and contracts and this and that and the fine print and oh my God, right? There could be stuff like that going on that's making you feel like overwhelmed. Okay, for others of you, well, you are really seeking balance. And this is going to bring you back into balance, these scales here with conjunction. It's like you had to feel the chaos. You had to have the everything turn upside down in order to come back into balance in a way that is more in resonance with who you've become. The balance that you were in before, you've outgrown. Like it's not actually balanced to you anymore. Your old life or however things were going when you felt they were going well. Yeah, some of you feel like you can't even remember that time. <laughs> okay? But so you have to have this whole thing happen in order you to for you to reestablish a new definition of balance for yourself. Okay, so what challenges are arising as a result of all this energy? Page of Wands. You could be seeing things in a very black and white way and missing all this beautiful color, all these variations of what could be. <laughs> variations of what could be. You could be looking at something on a very surface level when there's a lot more dimension here. I also feel like, you know, the Page of Wands comes with a message usually. It's a messenger card for me. And maybe you feel like 
you're not being heard, okay? Or somebody's not responding to your messages or their messages are just like not really getting to the, the center of what it is that you want to feel. There's something with communication that's becoming an issue here. So let's see the advice, the world. Well, in this chaos, before you bring something back into form for yourself, you're able to now really see what it is that you're working with and get rid of certain things. Maybe these are actual like possessions that you have you need to get rid of or people that need to be, you know, nixed from your life or you need to create some boundaries and distance with or maybe these are even aspects of yourself that you're like tired of and you don't want to bring that along into the new cycle. But it's like, I'm, I'm seeing like somebody just like throw everything up in the air and it's like now you're looking at your life here. It's like floating around in the air and you're like, what, what is this? And it's you. <laughs> so now you can pick and choose what you want to take with you and what you don't. Your advice is to create your world. And to know that you are the creator of your world. And what has manifested here right now is a part of your creation. Regardless of whether there were external forces involved or not, the way it's unfolded is still part of your energy and your creation. So take that not as a criticism, but as a tidbit of information that is empowering to you. If I've created this chaos, then I can create the order that I want. Okay, so let that be an empowering thought to you, Virgo. Let's see the outcome here in the next three months. We have the Ace of Wands. See, there's a new path, a new passion, a new direction that's coming up for you in the next three months. That's pretty soon. This is feeling inspired again, but it, it comes after you create your world recreate your world some of you like i'm just seeing stuff all over the place and it, maybe it's a metaphor but once you clear it all out and put everything in order the way you want it to be it's perfect it's amazing ace of wands inspiration this could also be that divine union coming in here spirit is talking more about the current process of working with this energy more than they're talking about the union, but it is here. Okay. So Virgo, I'm going to go into, I'm going to go into an extended reading for you and we're going to go a layer deeper into this message. Maybe we'll find out more about the union there or whatever wants to come up. A link for that is in the description box below. But if you don't want to come along or you can't for whatever reason, then just know that you received what you needed to receive in this reading. All right, Virgo, I love you so much. You got this. You can do this. Try to take a new perspective on it. You know, look at this chaotic time, this disappointment that you've had as a potential to recreate things for yourself. I know there's a lot involved, but there's a lot of energies involved so that you can have a lot of tools to work with, if that makes sense. All right, Virgo, I love you so much. I'll see you next time.